Kenya and Ethiopia have jointly become the first nations in the region to set up a 500 kilovolt power line. The construction of the power line at a cost of more than 130 billion shillings is ongoing with high hopes that its benefits will far outweigh its cost over the long term. Alex Mwangi visited a section of the line at Oldoniro in Isiolo County and compiled this report. The Ethiopia-Kenya Power Interconnection Project was conceived in 2006 when Ethiopia and Kenya signed a memorandum of understanding to have a power interconnection system established between the two countries. The Ethiopia-Kenya power line which will run from Elebor at the border with Ethiopia in Marsabit County to Suswa is comprised of 612 kilometers. The Ethiopian section of the line is 400 kilometers long, making the entire length of the power line 1,012 kilometers. Ethiopia at the moment they've got uh, excess power, so this power they will be evacuating it to Kenya, where we still have a shortage. And this power also when it gets to Kenya, there are also other countries like Tanzania, Uganda, which may also require power now through these uh, connections. There are three companies, all from India, that have been given the main contract works from Marsabit to Suswa. Each of the companies is working on one lot with the three lots being from the Kenya-Ethiopia border to Loglogo, Loglogo to Oldoniro, and Oldoniro to Suswa. Suswa, there will be a converter station that will be converting this power from DC to AC, ready for uh, distribution now to the rest of the part of Kenya. About 100 kilometers from Nanyuki town is a center known as Oldoniro, the 500 kV power line that Ketrako is constructing from Marsabit all the way to Suswa passes along this center. An Indian farm, Lassen and Tubro, is putting up towers along its lot of about 202 kilometers. We are doing from uh, Loglogo to Oldeniro. From Oldeniro to Susuvu, the, the another company will continue, that is uh, KPTA. The companies putting up the towers and power lines experience a number of challenges. The NTV crew got stuck navigating from one tower position to another putting into sharp focus what the contractors and technicians at the far-off sites have to endure to get the job done. The terrain is just one of the major challenges. The main thing is wildlife, okay, and uh, community problems, and uh, these local issues. This project, uh, it may take uh, some more time, okay, because uh, the community issues, and we are, we are doing a rerouting from here. Okay, uh, this community people stopped our work. So we, we took approval from Ketrako and uh, they told us to reroute the line. We've also had a problem with the sources of materials, you know, like uh, aggregates, we've been getting them all the way from Nanyuki. There's no reliable source of aggregates here. Each of these towers ranges in height between 35 meters and 45 meters, while the distance between two towers is an average of 450 to 500 meters. Lassen and Tubro will put up 489 towers or thereabout along the approximated 202 kilometer stretch. The 500 kV transmission line being put up is historic since it is the first line of such magnitude in the East and Central African region. It will have a capacity to transfer 2,000 megawatts of power, although it is unlikely that the full capacity will be utilized at any given time. The 30 to 40 meter way leave requirement has been waived in some sections of the power line. If it is in the 10 meters, okay, 10 meters from that uh, tower, we have to cut up to 8, eight, eight meters uh, trees. If it is uh, around after 10 meters, we have to leave the trees because uh, this is an environmental issue. The contract period for putting up the power line runs up to 19th of December 2017. Among the aims of having a network of high voltage power lines in the region is the ability to evacuate power obtained from clean sources to areas with energy deficits. Kenya Power already has a power purchase agreement with Ethiopia Electric Power Company for the supply of 400 megawatts. According to statistics from Kenya Power, the country has an installed capacity of 2,333 megawatts and a peak demand of 1,650 megawatts. More than half of Kenya's energy is derived from renewable sources. The Eastern Africa Interconnector project costs 131 billion shillings at the current exchange rate. 
The World Bank, through the International Development Association, will provide 71 billion shillings of that amount, which will finance the converters that will be placed at both ends of the 1,012-kilometer transmission line. Alex Mwangi, NTV.